So today I am doing, <clears throat> I'm um, making some rings. So I mixed up my resin. I took my rings and I stuck them all in my little ring tray. And then I take my little stick. I did about half of them. I got like half of the rose gold ones done. So I thought, well, I guess I'll jump on here and show you guys what I'm, how I'm doing, how I do the rings. So um, I just take my <clears throat> uh, popsicle stick and kind of like clear it off really good, except for a little bit like you're painting your nails kind of kind of thing. Backside wipe up, I guess, wipe off. And then really carefully go like this and just drop a little bit in there like that really carefully and then when I get my stick that you know kind of cleaned off a little bit I quickly put it back in the in the cup so I just keep doing that just a little bit like that and then go back in my cup so that's what I'm doing right now is I'm first filling all my rings with resin very carefully and then sometimes I try to make sure they're like sticking up really like straight you know so they don't um, kind of go sideways so sometimes I have to kind of like maneuver them a little bit um, if I see one that's kind of tipping over a little bit but um, it's this part is a little time-consuming it's not too bad but um, it's just more you have to kind of focus and go slow, which is kind of hard for me to do. And then you have to like not talk very much because <laughs> if you talk, then you you start laughing and then that leads to movement and then it messes up the ring. So when I do this, I try to get like super calm and super slow and try not to talk and hold my breath. <laughs> and not laugh so it's kind of a little hard for me in those areas so we have all of our resin poured into our rings and now what we're going to do is we're going to pick out our flowers to put in them and with the rings you have to get super little stuff so I have like, what I usually do is I take all my flowers that I've had on my table and I lift them up and then <laughs> I go like this and I scooch all the little droppings of the little flowers. It kind of looks like confetti actually, it's really pretty. Um, all the little flowers, I'll show you what it looks like. Like that, that have fallen like off of the, um, you know the other ones and then I go and I like lay them out on my table like this and then I try to only put like little tiny ones in there because the space is so little on your you know or that you're working with that you you can't put you know like a whole head in there it's not gonna work so you have to get like tiny tiny little ones and drop them in so I've noticed that it works better if I just like gather all my little confetti pieces and then kind of go through those. It's a lot easier because um, they're already tiny. Um, so I just will go through and I just like grab like that is a tiny little hydrangea, a little blue hydrangea. And then I just drop it in like that. So I just um, do that, just find little, little ones. I do one at a time and just kind of fill it in drop it in. So here's my confetti pile of my little droppings and then I just go in and like pick them out like that tiny. That's like a little status and then I might even have to pick that a little bit smaller and then I just like drop it in there. You probably can't even see it. Oh I don't want these to drop. See that? So I'm just like dropping them in there. I did one, two, three, four. Well not all of them but I'm working on the
or put in. So then what I do is I go back through and push them all down like this. So all of them get really um, soaked down in there in the resin like that. And um, that, one's, that one's pretty good, I would say. When I first started doing this, I took a uh, cardboard box and I put, I taped it shut, like all the way, like you're gonna, let's say, package it. I taped it shut. And then on the top of it, an empty cardboard box. And then on the top of it, I took my knife and I made slits, like a whole bunch of slits, like over the whole top of the box. And then I put my rings in each one of the slits and then I poured and it was not very fun because um, I wasn't, I, I was making them, I made them, I was making a mess every time I did it. And so the resin would pour out of the ring and go all down on the cardboard and then it would like glue, like stick shut and the ring wouldn't come out of the cardboard because it was all like resined on the cardboard, the ring. And I was like, okay. And it was just was not working. So I was like, I got to come up with another way because I really, really, really want to do rings, but I don't know how to pour them standing straight up. And the box wasn't working. And so I uh, found this jewelry holder. It's just like a regular jewelry holder, holder that we would put our, you know, our jewelry in. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's it. That's what I'm gonna do. So I got this thing and it was life changing. This gray thingy that I'm using. Oh my gosh, it's just amazing. It's so easy now compared to how I was doing it. I'm holding my phone so you can see better what I'm doing. This one that I'm doing right now, I think we're gonna need more. Um, that doesn't really seem like enough. Sometimes they'll fall down in that crack right there and then I'll grab it and put it in there. This is roses in purple hydrangea, the one we're doing right now. And then let's go grab, I don't know, that's too big. That's not gonna fit. I gotta grab something super small, like maybe one of these gumfrinas. Go back over, put that down in there, see what that looks like. Yeah, that's a little bit fuller. Okay, next one. This is Cleome, that pink is Cleome. The light purple, that's hydrangea and I want to say we put what else did we put in there Cleom oh aster it's a little pink aster oh that'll be pretty very subtle man I feel like I need to add a little bit more to it maybe I will maybe just like a gumfrena or a solosha if I can find one little enough them all filled so I got all the flowers down in there and all of them now I'm just gonna go back and um, poke them down all nicely down in the um, resin so they're all covered we usually I let them dry like overnight but it's not that much resin you know it's just like a tiny little all the flowers pushed down 
Um, our power keeps going out, so it's a little frustrating because all of a sudden the power goes out and the lights go out and it's pitch dark in here. Hopefully it won't go out anymore. I just go back through with the resin and um, just kind of top them off, I guess, just to make them um, really kind of like a, a bubble shape on the top. I think it kind of looks cool. Um, some of them I do, I've done flat and they, they're, they're pretty cool too. The one I wear, I've had mine on for like a while, months, and um, never take it off ever. Like shower, dishes, never take it off. I saved some resin in here. I just saved a little bit because I knew I was gonna do this. So I'm just kind of stirring it up a little bit because it was kind of getting hard. It's been sitting in there. Um, so, okay. So I'm just gonna take a little bit and then kind of go back through each one and just kind of top them off each one like that. So that way um, they're kind of like a bubble shape on top, like kind of full. I don't know, I've tried, like I was saying earlier, I, I've tried it like flat wise and then I've tried it like this, go back through and kind of top them off. And they're both, they're both cool. I think it's preference. Um, so I just thought, well, I'll just do top now, top ones now, cause I personally like, like them like that, even though I wear one that's flat. So I'm not sure. <laughs> I think the one that I'm wearing though is just more like um, sentimental at this point. Like I've had it for, I don't even know, probably nine months I've been wearing the same one and I never take it off. So it's more like, I don't know. I don't really want to take it off because it's like, it fits me good. You know, it's like, I'm used to it. I'll show you in a minute when I get this done. Um, how they turned out. Okay, so we just got them done. Now we'll come back tomorrow morning in the morning and see.